Hey, welcome back to Pancakes and Projects. Today we got our old friend Lonnie who helped us, you know, work on the wheelbarrow. And he's a really great artist. And I think it was Rodeo Clown. Is that what I said last time? Yeah. How's that working out? <laughs> I don't know. It was a Rodeo Clown. Was it Rodeo Clown? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Anyway, Lonnie's going to help me out today. Lonnie is an exceptional artist. Uh, you, you call yourself a former tattoo? You're still a tattoo guy, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you, you do a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, he's going to help me. I've always wanted to be like a sign painter. And today's the day. That he's gonna give me some tutelage and see if we can make this thing happen. So hang out, check it out, and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. One shot. One shot. <clears throat> this is what I came up with, and it's yeah, a tape measure would have been better, but it's about it's that big from there to there, and then down there. And what I did was just kind of grind off the old paint. Um, it, I don't even know what it was, nor does it matter. But then I put all these fun little swirlies in here, and then Lonnie, it's hard to see, but he has drawn. Dracula mouth, teeth, Dra something, it's on there. Draculette. Draculette, it's, it's gonna be cool. Anyway, that's what we're gonna start with and we're gonna get some paint on this thing and see how it looks. All right, so this is the view you're gonna get. I know it's super, well, it's pancakes and projects. So it's, if you've seen how it was set up, you, you'd be more amazed by that. But Lonnie's, <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie's gonna go over the process a little bit of like what we're gonna do. I know it is, you cannot see, yeah, you might be able to see some of this drawing on here, but it's on there, I promise. It, it'll make sense later. So yeah, I think what we're gonna do is uh, start with white. We're gonna put the outlines in there, but really we're just gonna paint in the teeth, give the structure that we're gonna end up covering up. Because once we got the white on there, then we're going to hit this uh, gum line here with pink. Hit the lips with some lilac. Boom, on the, on the bottom. Get big lips right there. And then, I don't know, maybe a 3D little shadow effect with a medium gray. And then on the opposite side, a little robin egg blue. Yeah, this is no Bob Ross mouth. And I don't know how many mouths Bob Ross painted, but I, you know what? They were happy. Well, I know we got shadow lights. Lights of shadows. No. Anyway, this is the idea. This is the sketch that Lonnie came up with, and this is what we're gonna try to make it look like here. I at least attempt to. Once Lonnie got done outlining the entire piece, this is where it gave me an opportunity to really work on learning some techniques. And there's a lot to it. And it's not just the brush stroke, but it's about paint preparation and loading the brush and how to hold the brush. Uh, but you can see it's kind of, it was a paint by numbers, just stay inside the lines, Ed. That's all you gotta do, but it, it was a great opportunity. Lonnie jumps back in here to do the gums. The can of pink paint that he had was drier than a bag of saltines. Been sitting for a minute, so he was doing a kind of a custom mix job. At this point, I was able to work on some more technique. There's big wide open spaces on the lips, so I was, I was rocking it with the lilac. The whole process how easy so day this is part two oh. as as yeah what i found out so far is it's not easy this isn't that easy it looks easy but it's not there is a lot of technical little things and learning brush strokes and how to load the paint how to mix paint how to you got to stab the paint with get the air bubbles out i think well i mean you really want to get those bristles in so that they can attract all that paint right into the it's definitely a process so i think next we we have what we have done and we're just going to go forward i think we're doing the red kind of in the mouth the tongue uh, lonnie has a plan for that and he's he's been really great at this like he's done the hard part with the lines and just letting me fill in i'm just the i'm a filler that's my life life's work hey, remember him he was a filler no no, no 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 we're all fillers we all start there oh and then we move up that's what I want to do. I want to move up. So anyway, we'll, yeah. we'll get there. Um, we're going to put the black outline on that. I think that's probably last, right? 
last. Once everything, it kind of makes everything sharp. Yeah. Sharp, is that the right word? Pops. Pop. I would say. But We're gonna pop. Pop, lock. Clean lines. It. Clean lines. It's gonna pop it and lock. It's, 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 it'll be fine. Here we go. Here Lonnie's back at it, putting some blood detail on, on the sharp teeth. Those are the sharp ones. Here I go again, getting another chance to work on these techniques. And of course things have changed a bit because now there's other colors on there. So uh, staining the lines is really, really important because you don't want to go over something you've already done. I mean, it's, it's all fixable because there are no mistakes, allegedly. At least that's what I was told. So once again, Lonnie let me, you know, color in the numbers here and he's so thankfully and nicely taking care of like the, well, just clean up. the serious edges. It's just clean up. I'm just not, well, I'm not there yet, but we're getting there. A little bit of clean up, never hurt no one. This is how it sits. Lonnie has got an idea of how to put in like a darker red depth. Would you call that depth? Yeah, a little depth. shadow work. Shadow work. Not like Carl Jung's shadow work, but yeah, shadow work. Shadow. Black Lonnie is just applying like some last minute uh, cleanup details before we enter into the the pop line. Pop? Is that what you call it? Yeah. Make it pop. Pop! Pop and drop it. Or, no, don't don't drop it. Don't just, drop it. Just pop it. Right. <laughs> Moving on to highlights. So word on the street is I thought I had Robin's egg glue. No, it was peacock glue. Well, that's all right. Lonnie has some Robin's egg. I'm not sure the difference between a Robin and a peacock other than their size. Difference. A lot of size difference. Yeah, size difference. Feathers. I, 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 I would imagine that the peacock egg is bigger. I you would they think. Get, yeah, they get, they're bigger. You would think. Well, what color are their eggs? Ooh, that's, yeah. I, I don't know. It's probably gross brown or something. <laughs> it's one of my favorite colors. Brown? Gross brown. <laughs> <laughs> gross brown. It's my favorite jam. Kind of going down to the home stretch here, Lonnie is working on what he calls the pop. The outline that kind of, it, it brings everything together and, and makes it just look, gives it a good clean look. how art goes right you get carried away with ideas while you're doing it yeah that's true so i think it are we doing this one i think we're doing this one this one that's gonna be that's gonna be a gold tooth because well it's cool Pam. We switched sides. New, oh, we did. New, uh, new shot. Okay. Anyway, thanks to Lonnie. He really helped me out. This is, it's kind of an intro to painting, I guess. Pinstriping? Is that? Pinstriping, sign, yeah. Sign painting? Painting, I don't know uh, how to do. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> me neither, so you could have fooled me. But it turned out great, and I'm excited to, well, get a little more on my own next time. Here I go again. On, Here I go. Yeah, how, I don't know how that song goes. It's but something like that. That is something that, like, yeah, you should do more next time. I will. I mean, I don't, it was definitely, uh, like I said, I really appreciate it. It was a big learning experience, and it's something I always wanted to do, and I've been struggling with it for some time, and then it gets frustrated, and you say, quit. Just quit. Don't quit. But that is, no, don't. Don't quit. We don't listen to that voice, though. No, don't do that. No. Don't listen to your monkey mind. 
Listen to the prefrontal cortex. That was weird that I said that. Anyway. And squeegee that third eye. I don't even know where we were. Anyway, so get out there and try new things. It's, you can do it. And don't, uh, don't quit like I always tend to quit. Just keep going, you can do it. But you know, it's maybe it's a perspective thing. Because it's been a while since I pinstriped, right? Yeah. I wouldn't say that I quit, but it's been a long time. But it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a long time. No, I, and I get that. Yeah. But I guess my, my point of view is like, it's so frustrating because you want it to look like somebody's work that's been doing it for a million years and it doesn't turn out that way. You have to keep trying to be persistent. That's all we can do. Practice. Practice makes something. Practice makes donuts. Practice makes donuts. I like that because yeah, there ain't nothing perfect in this universe. No, but art's cool. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next.